good morning on this Wednesday, September 5th. September 5th, I'm pretty sure. It has not been a good morning so far. Uh, I woke up at 5 o'clock. No reason why. So I'm running on about six hours of sleep and I'm exhausted. Um, I woke John up, so then he got up at 5. And I got ready for work. Well, I laid in bed until 6 when one of my neighbors decided to start mowing their grass. I really need to call the, t the uh, township and ask them if there is a noise ordinance related to lawn mowing. Because I'm really getting sick of those people mowing their grass. And what's crazy is, it, is that it, it's a business. So I know why they're mowing the grass at 6 a.m because they start working at like seven or whatever. Um, but they mow the grass at s between like six and 6.45. And that's not cool when you have residences right across the street from you, you know? Um, what if I had a sick kid? Or what if I'm sick? Or what if I work, you know, second shift and the only time I can sleep is at 6 a.m. Or third shift, you know, maybe I work third shift 10 to 6 or something. I know 11 to 7 is normally a third shift, but maybe I work 10 to 6 and the only time I can sleep is when I get home. Um, it's not, it's not cool. So I got to call the township to see if they have a sound ordinance that applies to lawn mowing. And then to top it all off, uh, Neil went to get some of his clothes out of the dryer, which he'd washed on Sunday. And there is a huge puddle of water all over the floor of our, laund of our laundry room. Yeah. There was, we have a front load washing machine, which we've had for almost 15 years. Works great. Or at least it always has worked great. And Neil had done his washing, his laundry on Sunday at, um, on Sunday, or Monday, I'm sorry, on Monday. And I had put it in the dryer for him. And when I put it in the dryer, I said to John, I was like, his clothes are really wet. He must have put too much clothes in there. Because it was like dripping and there was a little bit of water in the washing machine. So I was like, well, that's not right. That, that's, that's unusual. Um, but I didn't think anything of it. I was like, okay, whatever. It'll work the next time we, we do laundry. Um, <clears throat> but we didn't do laundry since Monday and sorry, I'm trying to merge onto bad traffic and the person behind me is not happy that I pulled in front of them. Um, anyway, so I I spent like 15 minutes this morning using plastic cups to <clears throat> get the water out of the front loaded wash machine um, because the washer was full of, well not full because it's a front load, but it was filled up to the point where the water would come out the front because we usually leave the washing machine door open so that it can like dry out and stuff. Maybe that's just us. But if you don't leave it open, if you shut it, you're more likely, or at least we've found, to get like mildew and stuff on the inside of the door. So we leave it open. And they, uh, the, the water was actually literally dripping out of the front of the front load washing machine. All over the floor. So the floor was covered in water. Um, the good news is is that we have the plastic floor in there so the floor is not ruined um the old floor was a an old uh fake wood and that would have been ruined if it would have been sitting with water on top of it for that for a day or whatever um so the plastic flooring came in handy um it also came in handy that john washed the dogs on sunday night because we had the those towels sitting around um that I could just, because we hadn't washed those yet, 
So I just took them off the top of the washing machine and was able to dry out the water. Now, obviously the floor is gonna need cleaned, um, which John has a steamer, so that shouldn't be too hard, but we just needed to get it cleaned up quickly. So anyway, long story short, our washing machine's broken. Uh, John was texting with me and we bought them at Sears, it's Kenmore and they can't come in until next Tuesday. So we literally are gonna have to go without a washing machine for a week and that's not possible. So I'm gonna have to go to a laundromat and do laundry, which I'm not looking forward to, just because quite honestly, I don't like, I, number one, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of doing laundry. It's a necessity of life. So I don't mind doing it. But when I do laundry, I put the stuff in the washing machine and I walk away. I come back an hour and a half later, put it in the dryer, and walk away. I don't have to sit there beside the washing machine and wait for it to wash. So that's the only problem with going to laundromat. I don't really have a problem with the laundromat other than the, the waiting part. Because if I don't wait, you know, people can take your clothes out of the washing machine. I've seen that happen before, where they will take your clothes out of the washing machine and, you know if you're not sitting there waiting for it. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Anyway, I turned the, the water valves off to the washer so that it shouldn't continue leaking, but I am going to go home at lunch. I'm gonna get my new employee situated and then I'm gonna head home at lunch so that I can just make sure that the washing machine's not continuing to leak. So, Anyway, I'm going to get to work. I will see you guys later. Bye. Well, it is 9 o'clock. I know I haven't filmed all day. We went to, well, <sighs> yeah. I ended up coming home at lunch. I worked until 5.45, I then cooked dinner, we then ate dinner, <laughs> then we went to Walmart to buy more food. Um, it's been a long day, but I'm still in pretty good spirits. Um, John just got home from back to school night. Tonight was back to school night for him. He said he actually had a parent show up to talk to him. We were texting, but he literally just got home. So, I'll be down in a minute, hon. You can come up. I'm, I'm filming my vlog. Oh, okay. well, I want, I want to show up on the vlog looking nice. Oh, looking nice. Yeah. He put a shirt and tie my, on. My uh, parent vest. Your shirt and tie, huh? <laughs> Look at you. White tie and everything. Yeah, somebody asked me uh, when I was going to give me the picnic tablecloth back. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's not very nice. No, I will well, anyway, uh, Neil and Nick and I went to Walmart, and John went to, to back to school night with his parents. Yeah. And I feel super bad because the one lady I watch on YouTube, yeah. her mom's house burned down tonight. Oh, my. So I feel really bad. I'm sorry to hear that. That's horrible. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to do a GoFundMe or if they're going to do anything. I don't know, Lisa, if you've heard anything from Anne, if she's going to do anywhere, like anything like, I don't know if she's got a P.O. box or if she's got anything, anywhere we can send like toiletries or clothes or anything like that. And then, oh, the other thing that happened today, I didn't tell the vlog yet. So you all know I've oh. got uh, nail polishes on this shelf, right? So... Neil came home from, from school, or um, I'm sorry, Neil came home from school, and I went down to see him, and the dogs went down to see him, and when I, I came up back up the stairs, I'm like, why do I smell nail polish? That's why I smell nail, smell nail polish. One of my nail polishes fell off the shelf here and hit the carpet, and somehow it broke when it hit the carpet. That's weird. It seems minute, given that my house is still standing. But 
I will say this. My washing machine broke. I ruined the carpet in this room. And very sweet lady's parent, mother's, grandmother's house burned down. So this is not, this is not a good day. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to go make sure John gets some dinner. I read I, um, he ate snacks for dinner. I like snacks. Them snacks. I'm making them snack. Games. Anyway, I'm going to make sure John eats some dinner. I'm just going to close out the vlog now because I'm tired. I think I told you guys this morning I only slept like six hours last night, so I'm tired. Anyway, today I am thankful. I'm thankful to have just made it through this long day. It wasn't horrible. Oh, good news. I got a note from the dietitian that they fixed my bill. I don't have to pay the bill. So that's good. Anyway, so I guess I'm thankful that they, they fixed that bill that I don't have to pay. Anyway, I know that this is probably a shorter vlog. I can't remember how long I talked this morning, but it's definitely a shorter vlog than I've been doing. So and I'm not going to get yesterday's vlog uploaded until the same day I have to get this vlog uploaded. So anyway, I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.